This one will help you to create thunder thaw. Yeah, I got the juice like a snow cone. Ice in my veins in a cold flow. See, that's amazing. We're gonna talk about connecting lightning strike from one object to another. Let's see what's happening. All my haters see Rojo. They big mad because they're coming up short like Frodo. Hey, activate the beast mode. I keep it hot, give your brain a heat stroke. You ain't a big shot, you some basic B roll. The world is mine, like my name's Pacino. Hey, it's Nico. I guess I'm back. Catch me in the fast lane on the right Hi, track. Hi, everyone, this is Nice and welcome to my channel. Okay, let's begin. You see, I always wanted to create this amazing lightning effect in Houdini, but I don't know. It was complicated to me. I don't know why, honestly. But yeah. Lately, we were working on this upcoming digital asset called Spark X, and as you can see, this is amazing digital asset. Will, will give your work a magical excitement uh, uh, effect. As you can see, wow! Of course, this is under development, but the lightning effect was one component of this digital asset. So we had our research. I so let's begin. I have this character from uh, Miximo and I retimed that using a motion clip retime and we have this cool jumping effect like Thor and yeah let's assume we have this animation you can have any animation and let's say we have a grid as a ground or mountain anything so we have this grid as you can see and we need a more uh, segment in here but actually let me uh, remake that I want a randomization so as you can see, this is random uh, topology. That's amazing. Now, uh, the tricky part is here. How we can connect or create a lightning strike from any character or any object to the another one. So that's... Oh, this is so tricky. There is many method to do that based on my research. And if you have any suggestion, any recommendation, leave me in the comment section. After all, all of us are learning here. So let me try something. Let's go with delete node. I want to have delete node and I want to select random point. So let's go to the random and yeah, adjust that. Let's uh, begin with few point as you can see now we have this point and let's go now iterate for each point let's create for each iteration point and as you can see we have this loop uh, node in here and let me uh, make it dark I'm gonna see the point better in here and you see if i iterate we have all the point now let's uh, yeah bring that in here and let's create a distance from geometry node this is man life-saving node believe me and yeah this amazing node I want to connect that to that but yeah no I guess uh, I want to invert that sorry that to this so I want to calculate the distance from each point of the ground to the selected point in for each let me show you how you see we don't have any distance so let me change that to the point and boom because we're dealing with the point uh, we're gonna uh, change the mode to the point so now we're gonna sort the point order based on distance attribute you see now, if I sort that by attribute distance, boom, we have point order based on distance. That's amazing. So the first one, always the nearest point. <laughs> That's simple, but yet effective method. So now I delete the first one and I delete non selected and we have our point. Now you see, this is the nearest point to that. So now we can add a line between that and boom you see this is with all point boy simple but effective you see that now we are connecting or creating line between any point of the this character to the grid wow that's amazing and if you want uh, to expand that you can offset the point in delete sub and yeah you see that's genius honestly and simple bro i love it so 
Now in this delete, of course, you can increase the amount of the point from the character. And yeah, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Share it if you want. That will be amazing. So now we are on track. We created the simple line between two objects. Now let's analyze lightning strike based on real reference. As you can see, this is real uh, lightning strike, but it's so fast. Let's pause the video in here. You see, now we have these tree, tree and branches effect in here. We're gonna mimic that in, in this setup of course in simple way we're gonna do some randomization using point jittering and we're gonna resample that that because we have uh, only two point let's create resample to, to have more point and you see now little bit of jittering we have something like that it's already awesome and of course you can offset that based on frame or time or anything and another one let me show you in here we're gonna do another layer of uh, noising we're gonna use mountain this is old node i was uh, using oftenly so it will uh, manipulate the position and it will apply some noises to it and as you can see we have that yeah we're gonna do the point jittering after the mountain okay you see we have something like that but the problem is the first point and the, the last point are changing we don't need that we need the connecting point from one object to another to another so how we can do that so we need all the point except the first one and the last one we need to select the middle point how we can do that there is a cool uh, method in group section so we're gonna go with one and back tick and point uh, zero zero input it's mean the current input of the node and a back tick you see it will give us uh, the middle point so as you can see we have something in here the first point and the last point are remaining you see that that's what I wanted in here you see that's so much better okay now of course we can go with that uh, reduce this uh, spreading a point it's better it's less jittery and you see you can go with that just have fun with it and this is basically a lightning strike uh, with one branches of course and you see that's amazing so let's go with another branch how we can create that so in here let me go with yeah let me go with delete sub i want to select random point from this line from uh, first branch or uh, this line and now let's go with a uh, line i want to copy the line for each point let's go with copy to point and voila we have that but i want a random orientation first let me merge that to see the result so that's not bad and yeah this is the length now let's uh, create a random randomization attribute and uh, let's go with orient uh, rather than cd and let's go with four component direction in here and voila we have a random uh, random direction for each line you see that and this is amazing of course you can uh, increase the branches in here and let's see it all yeah it's not bad ugly <laughs> so we're gonna make it better <laughs> now of course we can uh, bring our point jittering in here increase uh, the point and yeah this is the first uh, branch yeah it's not bad it's acceptable decent <laughs> but yeah uh this is all a uh, lightning strike yeah it's not bad honestly i'm too harsh on that <laughs> okay this is uh, the direction uh, it's always uh, towards down and let's create another branch let me duplicate that and yeah uh, let's connect it to this and let's merge it in here and boom we have another branch you see simple 
you can go on and on but yeah that's enough in my opinion yeah that's cool and as you can see this is the result yeah let me reduce that don't need that much and you see yeah that's cool so what about the width or if you want to give it a mesh how you can do that uh, for example uh, you can go with attribute create for each branch for example give it a value for example wd uh, as a name attribute float and give it a value for example one or uh, i don't know any value and in uh, another branch make it half and the third branch make it uh, even half of that uh, second branch and you will have wd or uh, attribute with with uh, information so you can go with polywire and the geometry it's dark in here i don't know why i think from the normal let me create a color i don't know maybe from the color yeah color it's not solving the problem but yeah let me show you you can uh, control the, the the width or strength uh, using attributes you see we're not seeing anything in here bro let's create a normal node to see it better yeah let's create normal yeah the problem uh, was a normal so that's how you can create the width and control it using the attribute this is simple setup guys so as you can see this is simple lightning strike it will give you an idea how you can connect two lightning strikes from one geometry to another i hope this will help you a lot and on my patreon we are going to see a different method using l system l system it's so awesome i'm amazed by that it will take care of sub branches randomization and the width so it's more simpler and you, we're gonna adopt that uh, on my patreon so if you're interested i will see you there and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys i appreciate your support i will see you there goodbye